Cheers, nerds, and welcome back to another episode of A Toasted Beer. Joey here, joined by Cameron again. Uh, today we're going to be enjoying a great divide brewing company, Claymore Scotch Ale. So, it's apparently an ale with some scotch in it, I guess? I don't know. I've had uh, Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Ale before, so and those are, it's apparently beer stored in bourbon barrels for some time while it ferments, I guess? I don't know. So... I'm, I'm guessing this might be the same kind of thing as that with scotch barrels, so I kind of, at least when, I, when I've had it before, they kind of, not this one specifically, but other ones kind of like this, they've had a taste of it because they like absorb some of the alcohol from like the barrels and whatnot that's left over, so. Well, I'm into scotch, so. <laughs> so, uh, we'll, we'll see how this one tastes. Hmm. I really don't smell much scotch on it, but it smells and kind of looks like a dark beer. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. It smells more like a more like a stout than than an ale, actually. Mm -hmm. well, here we go. Cheers. I don't know if I can taste taste scotch, but I can feel it hitting me. Scotch, like scotch <laughs> hits your stomach, and I can feel that. I can taste a little bit, but that might be because I'm not a big scotch drinker, so I can yeah. actually notice it when I taste. I taste. I don't really notice the beer taste as much as what some people would, because I notice more just like the different flavors of that. Because I'm so used to drinking beer, so I guess that's why I probably taste the scotch more. But yeah, I, I prefer scotch. J, J and B is great. <laughs> it's the drink of, uh, shit, what's his name? R.J. McCready, I think, from The Thing. Great movie. I, I have no idea what you're talking about, but John I'll take... John Carpenter's The Thing? No. Come on. I'm sorry. Kurt Russell? I'm sorry. It's great. Apparently I'm slacking on my movie... Trivia, watching, viewing, and other, all other. Yeah, it's a little dark. It's definitely a strong beer. I don't know. I think this, out of all the ones I've tried so far, this is probably my least favorite. Which is saying something, saying as I've tried, but brownie, <laughs> brownie, pretzel, and chocolate peanut butter ones before. But yeah, once again, this one is not chug worthy. I don't. I wouldn't really have more than like two of these, to be honest. They're, they're, it's dark, dude. It tastes dark. <laughs> I, just, I really don't taste scotch. I, I'm, I'm not sure, but like I said, I can feel scotch. Like I can feel the way it burns my throat, the way it hits my stomach. I can feel the scotch, but I can't taste it. So, Interesting. Yeah, I know. It makes me sound like a scotch expert or something. Well, no, but I'm just, I don't, I don't drink scotch that much. I guess it's got its own way of going into the body. Yeah. What were you saying? That's, a, that's what, at least that's what I've surmised over the years. Like, alcohol, there's certain ways it goes through you. You know, beer is like foamy as shit. It goes down <laughs> your throat. And it's like real, I don't know, it's just, it, like. I know it's, beer it's fills great. you up a lot. It's yeah. in your stomach and it's and you there. You pee yeah. a lot or burp a lot or something. <laughs> but Both. scotch is like, whew, it goes straight down. It hits the bottom of your stomach pretty hard. But yeah. Well, there's some scotch insight from Cameron. Um, thanks for joining us today on another episode of Toasted Beer. Uh, please feel free to like this video and subscribe to the DNA YouTube page if you enjoyed watching. Uh, you can find all of the content available at uh, either our YouTube page here or digitalnerdadvocates.com. Uh, if you uh, have any suggestions of beers we should try, uh, feel free to comment and let us know.
Uh, again, thanks for watching. See you.